Hey there, I want to show you how to use Stage Timer together with OBS Studio. I did a video about this in the past, but things have changed with the new version. So here we go. Um, this is your OBS stream, and you see I already have prepared a Stage Timer window in the back. Um, and what we do here is that we want to add a, a browser source. So this browser source, uh, call it uh, Stage Timer. Um, OBS allows us to enter any URL. So what we do is we go to our stage timer controller, click on links and copy the viewer URL that we have here. And we um, enter it into this, into this window right here. Um, now, what ideally you want to have it as a 16 by nine ratio. So I'm going to enter uh, 2008, uh, um, 1280 by 720 as the pixel um, resolution, which just give us a, a nice a 16 by nine window here. So you can see it loading and in the background and it's it's right here. So if I start the timer, um, you can see that it, it will update right here live in OBS in a nicely usable timer. But of course, it's a bit uh, problematic because right now the timer is kind of blocking uh, my kind of example video in, in the background, right? So what do we do? Um, well, we could just like it like this, right? Make it full screen, um, have a timer just like this in OBS, but we may kind of overlay it on top of the video and make the background transparent. So OBS gives us uh, two ways to do that. And then stage timer gives us uh, another way, which is actually better. Uh, so first I will show you how OBS does it. Um, one option is to use the blending mode and go to additive. This uses the uh, brightness values of the video or of the browser source um, to make pixels transparent. And right now I can overlay it over the entire video and I, well, I have the time. But as you can see already, the kind of blue text and the, the progress bar, they get semi-transparent, right? Because they're kind of green, which is, which is somewhere between uh, white and black. So if you uh, do have, um, yeah, the, the pro plan, uh, the, the premium plan, you can use like a darker contrast where the text goes uh, goes white, um, which which kind of which, which makes it better, right? But it's it's not ideal. So if you're on free um, on the default uh, theme, um, another option you have is to use a color key. So let's go back to the normal blending mode, and what we do is we uh, go to filters and add an effect filter, which is called color key. And uh, this gives me the option, right, to use green screen, uh, blue screen, red and magenta, but I want to use a custom color. And I'm going to pick the um, the background color of the timer. Well, no, it vanished, vanished again, here it is. I'm going to use the background color of the timer. So I go to select color and I did um, crop Take it before it is the one c one nine one eight. So I, I entered the hex code one c one nine one eight, which is the background color, and it should nicely uh, isolate the timer elements. Now what you see is a bit of a ugly uh, black outline. This always this usually happens with very strong edges in color keying. Uh, what you could do against it is you go back to the filter, at the color key filter, and you um, increase the smoothness a bit and the uh, similarity to kind of give a bit more black value. So give like these, these in-between pixels between the white and the black, um, a bit more color keying. And now we should, you know, have kind of a nice solution where the, the timer sits on top of the video um, and it doesn't have these uh, strong semi-transparent effects as blending modes have. <clears throat> but as I said, if you are a pro, uh, a premium user of stage timer, you can actually use a built-in method. So if you go to the customize pop-up, uh, you can use the transparent background option right here. Um, click save. And it just gives you a browser browser window with a transparent background and um, OBS understands that and just puts it on top. Um, and to make the text maybe even pop out a bit more, I, I recommend that you also uh, use the shadow text uh, style. So you just get this little bit more of contrast around your text and it just makes it easier to read. 
Um, and if you don't like the blue, which uh, usually doesn't work very well, uh, very well with um, video output, you can go to the contrast, the high contrast theme, which just makes it plain white. Um, and this way you get a little bit of a nicer overlay. Now, in some cases, you may not want uh, the header and of the footer here and the progress bar, right? And of course you can, you can turn off the progress bar right here. You can just hide it, so it's gone, which is one option. Uh, another option would be to to crop out, right? To 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 just cut away the bottom, to cut away the top. But then, if we do show a message, um, kind of the, the the text, the timer jumps around, and and uh, we might just want to have the timer. So, the way to do this um, is if you go to the uh, documentation, open it in another tab and to the viewer documentation at the very bottom, uh, there's something called isolation mode. As you can see, um, the, let me make this a bit bigger. Um, if you have the URL of the, uh, of the viewer, we can add a parameter at the end, uh, only equals timer, which we're gonna do, um, which isolates the timer and just disables all the other elements. So I go into these properties here and at the end of the URL, I'm adding question mark only equals timer. And this way, wait till the loading is done, um, it will isolate just the timer element for me. And I can use this and, and just place it wherever I want it. Which is really nice um, and, 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 and useful. Now a second thing, a second thing you can do is if you want um, to collect customer feedback, not customer feedback, uh, audience feedback, uh, so your audience, you know, can send in questions uh, to your to your presenters, to your speakers. So there's uh, in stage timer a submit question link. You can copy this link, and and you can see it has uh, like a kind of uh, alphanumeric ID here that is different than your room ID, right? So you can very safely uh, sub, um, share this link with your audience. Uh, they will not be able to guess your your room ID from it. Um, I recommend not posting it on, on, a, on a public website because uh, this page is not bot proof. Um, so yeah, bots will, will, will abuse it if they, if they get their fingers on it. Um, but it's safe to use. So I can, you know, I'm the audience member, I can just open this uh, page. I can write my question, hello, how are you? Um, and I write my name here and, oops, and click submit. Um, and my uh, question shows up in these uh, messages here on your controller. Now you can show them uh, to the presenter, but if you are in the timer isolation mode, right, it doesn't show up, it's obviously removed from here. And I may just want to have this message showing up uh, for the presenter, even maybe showing it in the live stream. Um, and therefore there is another isolation mode. I cannot just isolate the timer, I can also use header, footer, progress bar and the message. So I go back into uh, my browser source and instead of timer, I say equals message. And now we'll load the page again and I will get a message on transparent background, which is which is pretty nice. But this one is a bit uh, blocky. Yeah, I would really love to have it like at the bottom, right? Kind of like across the bottom of my screen. Uh, so if I uh, make it smaller, it kind of grows all across. So I can do this, stage timer um, automatically resizes text to fit into the browser window. So if we just change the browser window setting, say uh, to a thousand, let's make it my bigger, a thousand six hundred by uh, 300, nice and wide, but, but slim, um, the text automatically adjusts to it. And I can place it at the bottom um, yeah, and have it in my screen. Um, yeah, maybe it's a, it's a bit thin, so I can go into the controller and make it uh, bold, so it pops a bit more and it's easier to read. Yeah, so this is how you integrate Stage Timer into OBS and into your live streams uh, pretty nicely.